Iran's president is responding for the first time to America's threats of retaliation after the deaths of three U.S. service members in Jordan. Those soldiers will be honored in a dignified transfer ceremony today, and President Biden plans to be there. Ed O'Keefe is at the White House this morning tracking all of it for us. Ed, good morning to you. Good morning, Tony. Iran's president says it'll respond to anyone that bullies his country. And that solemn ceremony honoring those fallen American soldiers will be held this afternoon as the families are allowing it to be seen by the public. Speaking Thursday at the National Prayer Breakfast, President Biden paid tribute to the three soldiers killed in the Jordan attack. Sergeants William Rivers, Kennedy Sanders, and Brianna Moffat. They risked it all and will never forget the sacrifices and service to our country at the dozens of service members who were wounded and are recovering now. As for the U.S. response to the attack... It's time to, uh, to take away even more capability than we've taken in the past. U.S. officials tell CBS News that targets in Iraq and Syria have been approved, including against Iranian personnel and facilities in those countries. And Iran's president, Ibrahim Raisi, responded today, saying Iran won't start a war, but will respond strongly to anyone who bullies it. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin says this time will be different from the retaliatory strikes launched in response to other recent attacks. They have a lot of capability. I have a lot more. Walking with a limp into the Pentagon briefing room, it was Austin's first meeting with reporters since his hospitalization in December. He also said he apologized directly to President Biden for keeping his fight with prostate cancer a secret. We did not handle this right. I did not handle this right. I should have told the president about my cancer diagnosis. I should have also told my team and the American public. And I take full responsibility. I apologize to my teammates and to the American people. As far as the status of Secretary Austin's health is concerned, he said he's still dealing with leg pain but is going to physical therapy and that doctors are confident he will continue to improve. Tony. You know, Ed, in other news tied to the region, President Biden issued this executive order yesterday sanctioning four Israelis. These are settlers, people who are living inside the lines of what could be a future Palestinian state, seen as an obstacle to peace. What's it all about? Yeah, it means the U.S. can now sanction any settlers or anyone else who commits or threatens violence or destruction of property in the Israeli-occupied West Bank. In essence, it reiterates U.S. support for the so-called two-state solution or a separate Palestinian state. We should note... The White House announced this new executive order on Thursday as the president was visiting Swing State, Michigan, home to a sizable population of Arab American and Muslim Americans upset with the president's continued support for the war that resulted in the deaths of tens of thousands of Palestinian civilians. Tony? Show of seriousness, show of seriousness as well as the U.S. tries to broker these, this peace deal. Ed, thank you very much.